In this video, I'll show you how to select which knowledge base a specific card will query. In this example, we'll filter user queries about certain topics to knowledge bases that we know contain relevant information. For the purposes of this demo, I'll use some pretty simple knowledge bases. The first one is going to be a text knowledge base that contains the sentence, the bird is blue, and I'm going to go ahead and name this something descriptive so we don't get mixed up later on. I'll create another knowledge base, another text knowledge base as well, and I'll just include the sentence, the soup is hot, and I'll go ahead and name this one soup. For our third and final knowledge base, I'm going to go ahead and create a web search that will search the entire web for all of the other requests that these two can't handle, and I'm going to go ahead and name this web search. Now that our knowledge bases are created, we can go ahead and direct our user down the correct path. Now, we need to send users down a path that corresponds with their question. In this node, I'll place a single choice capture card and I'll just ask them, what is your question about? I'm going to provide three choices. The first is birds, the second one is soup, and the last option will be something else. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect these to each a separate node. There. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and start asking our user what their query is going to be. To prompt my user for their query, I'm just going to use a raw input capture card. So I'll drag one over here from the card tray into the node called birds. Now you'll see here in this menu, I'm instructing this card to answer questions from a knowledge base. I'm going to uncheck the option to search in all knowledge bases, and I'll just select the one that's relevant to this question. Since I'm in the birds node here, I'm going to go ahead and select the bird knowledge base. What we've done is tell this capture card to only answer questions based on the information that's available in that knowledge base. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this for my other two nodes. There we go, that's done. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. Over here in the emulator, I'm going to say hi, and I'll get prompted to pick a question. Here, I'll ask a question about birds, and I'm going to say something simple, like, what color is the bird? Now we should receive the correct answer. There we go, the bird is blue, and it's pulling that from the correct knowledge base. Let's go ahead and try that again. I'll say hi, and what I'm going to do is select the same knowledge base, birds, and I'll ask it a question that it shouldn't know the answer to. In this case, uh, how warm is the soup? In this case, it shouldn't be able to answer this because that information is stored in another knowledge base. We see no valid answer found, and that works correctly. Now, let's test it out one more time to make sure that it would be able to answer the question about soup if I had selected the correct knowledge base. So over here, I'll say that my question is about soup, and then I'll ask it, how hot is the soup? And here, I'm expecting to receive the correct answer because I've selected the relevant knowledge base. And there we go, the soup is hot. We see in the reference that it's pulling from the correct knowledge base. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do some bonus testing as well. I'll prompt it one last time by saying hi, and then I'll ask my bot, I want to ask it a question about something else. Here, we're doing a web search, so you can really ask it anything. In this case, I'll ask it something like, who is Jane Fonda? Now, what should happen is that my bot sh should search the entire web, pull out some answers, and provide me, the bot owner, with some references. We see here the correct answer was given, as well as some references for their search answers. Nice. And there you have it. Happy bot building.